one of the best things about winter, going out on the sled on a day like this. You don't need a gym. This is the best training you can get. We're soon home now, Nanook. Now you look like an old grandpa dog. I'm sitting here in my car because I'm on the way to the city. I'm gonna go to my brother and upload my latest video. I don't think I have told you this, but I actually have to drive a total of 120 kilometers to upload my videos on YouTube. <laughs> I know it's insane because the internet that we have is just not good enough for uploading these huge video files. And I've seen a lot of people have been asking about how I upload my videos on YouTube. Uh, because on a place like this, it's not so common that there is good internet. But we have actually had quite good internet here the last couple of years. When I moved here, we had like really, really bad internet and almost no phone connection or phone reception. If I had to make a phone call, I needed to go out on the field to, to get reception. And I remember I got very used to not having good phone reception. Uh, so when we finally got better phone reception, I didn't like it at all. Because now people could call me and I could not anymore say that I have bad phone reception. So I needed to answer and I, <laughs> I, you know, I got stressed out. I didn't like it. So sometimes I tried to find these spots in the house where I had no phone reception. But I really like to have good internet because that's such a huge part of my work. But yeah, when I'm finished editing a video, I go to my brother Philip, who lives in Sleftio, uh, and upload it there because he has really good internet. So yeah, it takes a lot of time, but I'm also really happy that Philip lives in Sleftio. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to upload my videos with such high quality all this year that I've been doing YouTube more seriously. But we are actually gonna get better internet here any day now. We have been waiting for this like constantly for two years. We're gonna get fiber internets in Grunchan, <laughs> in this village. Can you imagine? The best internet in the world. Um, this has been like a long project for many years and I, I wasn't really sure if it was really gonna happen. But there's a lot of tiny villages around here that are actually gonna have fiber internet which is one of the few things that I'm really thankful for in this part of the country. So I have desperately been waiting now the last months. We were supposed to have it in October and then November and now December. So everything is done now, the fiber is working. We are just waiting for a router now that should come any day. Hopefully, hopefully this is the last time that I go to the city to upload my video. But okay, enough talking. I should get going. Uh, let's go to Philip in the city.
Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is actually the third day that I try to record this scene. I just wanna sit down and have a little talk with you guys, but I've had a lot of camera issues. So the first time I tried to record in here, but it was dark, so I tried to light up with as many lamps and candles as I could. But I think it still was a bit too dark, so the camera had a hard time to find the focus on me, and I didn't realize until afterwards that almost all the scenes was not focused. So the next day, yesterday, I decided to go out instead and catch the little hour of daylight that we have uh, so I would get better light for the camera. But then instead my camera decided to make a really annoying mechanical sound all over the recording. And of course I didn't realize until I got home and was gonna edit it. So this vlog is gonna be like three days late, but that's life. <laughs> This constant lack of daylight is really my biggest challenge when it comes to filmmaking during the winter. Tomorrow it's the winter solstice here, which means that now is the darkest time. And if it's a clear day without clouds, we can see the sun rising just above the trees in the horizon for 30 minutes until it goes down again. My friend Maria, who has the YouTube channel Northern Heart, she made a really good video on how to manage the dark Swedish winters. And you can find the link to that video in the description. I honestly love this time of the year because I think it's something really magical about this constant darkness. It's such a big contrast to the summers when it's light all the night. But I always get surprised on how the darkness suddenly affects me really hard. I usually feel really normal and good up until the middle of December and then suddenly the tiredness comes crashing into me. So the last week now I've been feeling constantly tired. I just want to sleep, I just want to take it really slow and just rest and sleep. But I also know that the best solution is to push yourself to get out and, and do things and, and get fresh air. So I really try to push myself to, to be out as much as possible in the daylight. Mm. First, first of all, this vlog is gonna be a bit jumpy because I actually started recording this vlog like two weeks ago before I even uploaded my previous vlog. Uh, and that's because I, I started recording this vlog because I wasn't sure that I was gonna make a Lucia video this year. I really had this strong idea of the song that I wanted to make, but I was really short of time. I, I wasn't sure that I was gonna be able to make the video until Lucia. And when I was finally done with the song, I only had one day to film, because it was gonna be really bad weather the other days. But I was ready to, to film that one single evening when it was gonna be okay weather. Uh, and it was actually minus 17 Celsius degrees when I started filming. And it started off really good. I mean, always when I do this Lucia videos, it's something magical in the air. It doesn't matter that I have a lot of things to do. I have to light all the candles and make all the filming and, you know, recording from so many different angles. It's a lot of work, but it doesn't matter because I just enjoy every second of it. It feels like some something magical is presence in the air. I don't know how to describe it. But like one hour into the filming, as I was still lighting all the candles, uh, I was a bit surprised of the weather, because it started to be a bit windy. And suddenly the winds got so strong that all the snow on the trees fell down on my candles. <laughs> So I had to light them up again and I was feeling a bit stressed that it was gonna get worse because I still had a lot of scenes to film. So after a while I called my mom to ask her if she could come and help me light the candles so that I would be able to film the scenes more quickly. So she came and helped me because <laughs> she, she'd been helping me like in all other Lucia videos as well to light the candles. So she's actually a professional candle lighter by now. But the wind just got worse and worse all the time and when I was finally gonna record the scenes with the crown on my head, it was just... No, it didn't work <laughs> well. It was almost impossible to just get a few seconds while my candle was burning. 
So I eventually had to give up. <laughs> it just didn't work. And I got so much candle wax in my hair because I had to put the crown up and down all the time. So I decided to use footage from my previous Lucia video that I did two years ago because I had the exact same clothing. I thought that maybe you wouldn't notice, <laughs> but if you would notice that I have old footage in this Lucia video, at least I have a good reason. <laughs> I really tried my best. Men. Är ni slocknar då? Ja, det är ljuset, det lyser nästan inte. Var det värsta? Får du slockna? Ja. Tio sekunder! Snälla, låt mig få göra det här. Ja, du måste slockna. Ni får prova i skogen, mamma. As we were walking back to the house to have a cup of coffee, I realized that it's full snowstorm outside. <laughs> it, it went so quick from really, really cold to full snowstorm. But we had a cup of coffee and just laughed about it because I was at the same time really thankful that I started so early, otherwise I would not even be able to light the candles. So I at least knew that I had enough footage to make a video. <laughs> Something crazy happened a few days ago. Maybe you have already noticed. We reached 1 million subscribers on this YouTube channel. <laughs> I can't believe 1 million subscribers. How did this happen? I am just so thankful for all of you guys who are subscribing to my YouTube channel. I, I still can't really believe this. And it happened so quick that I wasn't really prepared. And I remember one evening I was painting in the smithy, in our new smithy. And uh, I was checking the analytics on my phone for YouTube. And I realized that, holy shit, I probably will reach one million tonight. So uh, I decided that we should have a little celebration that evening. So we met up at my mom's place, me and Johan, and also my brother Philip came from the city to join. And uh, we dressed up really fancy, just for fun. <laughs> and we had a bottle of champagne ready. And then we just counted down until we reached one million. We are on our way to my parents' house because I have only like 800 subscribers left to 1 million and since you guys are subscribing to me like crazy it's going really fast uh, because you guys are the best how do you feel tonight good <laughs> 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 I love to celebrate things like it doesn't matter if it's small things or big things happening but I love to celebrate and to be happy with a lot of other people at the same time I just love the feeling <laughs> but as I told you I was a bit surprised on how fast this happened so I have not prepared anything cool to do to celebrate this I have no cool video to share with you guys uh, but 
I really want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you so much I'm so glad that so many wants to see my videos and be part of our life here it's amazing I could just never imagine that this would actually happen and I'm also so happy and thankful for the beautiful response that I get on every video like the comment section have you seen it it's incredible it's so much love and beautiful words it's I don't know it's just it's just such a, a good feeling and it's all thanks to you I mean there would be no YouTube channel without all of you guys who subscribe and who watch my videos you make it feel so much fun I love it so much to share videos with you guys so thank you from the bottom of my heart and I also want to thank my team who works in my business which is my wonderful husband Yuan and my mom Anita and my brother Philip I would never be able to have this much time <laughs> to create videos and do what I love to do without them. And also I want to thank my wonderful virtual assistant Jacqueline who's been working for me for one year now. She's so passionate about all the things that I think is really hard and boring. So she's a perfect match. And also I want to thank my wonderful translators. I have two translators that always write subtitles for my videos. We have Nadia who translates my videos into Spanish. And she also writes English subtitles. And then we have Veronica who translates my videos into Swedish. And also, of course, I want to thank everyone else who contribute with subtitles in their own languages. It really helps me to reach out and make more people understand my videos. I'm so happy for that. And also, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank all my subscribers on Patreon. I started with Patreon two years ago and it literally changed my life in a way because it made it possible for me to spend much more time on the things I really wanted to do and to make more quality. I could spend more time making music and making videos and the support that I got from Patreon made me feel free as a creator. I didn't need to rely on other companies doing collaborations and such because that didn't feel like me. I wanted to spend more time doing what I love and thanks to my support on Patreon I could do that and I'm forever grateful for your help and your support and I'm also so thankful for all the amazing friends that I got from there. Thank you so much. Why not end this vlog with another great thing? <laughs> Maybe you won't notice it so much, but it's making a huge difference for me. I talked about it earlier in this vlog and we have finally received the fiber router. Here it is, the router. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be able to upload immediately after I've edited from my home here tonight <laughs> so I can just have a cup of coffee and just upload it and it's gonna go really quick Wow so I'm actually gonna start editing this vlog right away now so hopefully I can upload it tonight that would be great and now it's soon Christmas so I thought I would just take some days off now and just take it really easy and reload, <laughs> charge the batteries and, and sleep. <laughs> but I will definitely see you again after Christmas. So my sweet friends, wherever you are, if you celebrate Christmas or not, I hope you will have a wonderful week and I see you soon again. Take care everyone and thank you again so much for 1 million subscribers. You are the best. I love you. Bye-bye.